Well, we've got Holden Miller versus Frederick Rith. Uh, Croc versus Queen. It's going to be spicy, so we're watching this here. Uh, it's the final round. Play TCG. Both players 8-0. Oh. Uh, we've seen the Queen player, I think, twice on stream at this point. Shout out Eggman uh, for hosting it. But, okay, let's see. I don't remember who. I don't know who just won. Um, but we'll find out shortly. We'll see how they cut. But, yeah, top two, no red. I know um, over in Europe they just had an event, and I think top 16 was 13 red uh, with three other misc. I think being like Croc, Gerbil, Dofi, and Queen. I don't think Queen was in there. Um, but like that, but Gerbil took the whole event, so uh, it's doable. It is doable. Croc, of course, being favored into, in my opinion, into uh, Newgate. So if they played a ton of Newgate, I'm very interested in their matches. Same with Queen, just because Newgate doesn't have a bunch of gas when you need gas to be able to take out Queen. So uh, I watched them play, and I was just like, because once they get the two life, and then they're removing one threat per turn, and then they're gaining a life, and you pretty much have to do two to three hits, especially when they smack down a Yamato and go plus two life, uh, it gets pretty difficult. Um, so it looks like Croc got to go second. I wonder if Queen opted to go first. You got a poke for five. They take it. Um, pretty much like Dragon Twister and all those cards are pretty low value. And then they drop the Doflamingo. Uh, strong card in Queen. The biggest pro is, of course, let you stack your deck so you can set up the life triggers. Uh, once you get down to that range. I usually get down to that range probably after turn five. So they probably won't be any of these cards. Um, but you never really know. Because they could just combo a ton. Alright. But yeah, you can stack. Uh, if they're playing Benji, I think everybody plays it. But I haven't seen it. Um, I think they play Benji. So they can do that. Also, like of course, the blockers. They can play the one-drop Boa. The Sanji. And like Branch or Brulee if they play that. Uh, we're going five, and then maybe seeing a Sintamaru here, or just the Pacifista, and then there's that one drop boa that we were just talking about. And so they're going to poke six, so that means they've probably got plans for the other four, which could just be 3,000 sword, or 3,000, three sword style, 3,000 worlds, 3,000 worlds. Yep, and put that back. Keeping the board clear. Both of these decks have phenomenal removal because of that blue engine. So really interested to see who gets the sticks and bodies. Especially with a card like Red Rock entering into the meta. Alright, so they smack down us in tomorrow. There it is. Now going to resolve the ability. This is where they start to gain some steam. Because they have two bodies. And typically, Queen can only remove one per turn. So you really want to try to get wide and then put that pressure on. Uh, especially like if you can add cards to their hand without them being able to discard to put them in that regain life area. It's going to be big. Um, so yeah, Sintamaru putting in a ton of work became very popular. I was testing Croc previously without Sintamaru, um, but I think I'll be, uh, making that switch. Because it is, if you, if you don't have an answer to it, so they already dropped their out. Uh, so if they don't have another one, Sintamaru is going to run away with it. But it's very possible that the queen player has one. And then they're at seven now. So 1K, the Missile Sunday, one of the best cards in Croc, just because once you've used one of those, uh, if you block, like Red Rock, you can block with it and get it right back. Uh, and then is that Soga King? Probably going to return. The question is, do you return the Sintamaru or do you return the Pesifista? Definitely the Cinemaru, because Cinemaru costs six to play another one, so then it becomes like uh, you get seven for six on cost plus value creation. 
Uh, and Soga King returns up to a six cost or less. Uh, then they get the draw two and discard two. Uh, so discarding a pound and a boa. Interesting that they chose the pound. I've seen lists without it. They've just played the trigger blockers. But pound does, again, it puts a card in your opponent's life. I believe it's a three cost or less. Uh, now they have a 6k body on that Soga King. Let's see what we see here. Six at lead. Met with a 2k. That's a Sa Sasaki. And then we go five. Uh, and that was still Flamingo. Pay three. Play the Pacifista. Pay two. Establish another body. Might even be the blocker coming down. Let's see what they're looking for. Another, yeah, just get those bodies again, just going wide. Because um, once Queen hits that four, that nice four threshold, uh, they might establish a body here and play out the Katakuri and put the Cinemaro in the bottom of the life. Cut their deck. Also, one of the, my favorite things about Cinemaru is very few cards let you search your deck and shuffle. And a shuffle can just be big, especially if you're just not seeing cards you want. Um, just mixing up that deck. Uh, they just activate Dragon Twister. Looks like it. Because it is an ace, so you can't discard the abilities. And Mihawk just bottom decked it since they're on that nine curve. So Cinemaru's out of here. Uh, you've got two bodies thanks to it. So yeah, I mean, I personally don't enjoy swinging. Yeah, C7 and they, they get a boa. So now they have a blocker bottom deck. Put the Soga King there. So now trading Mihawks. Let's see if they have a Red Hawk. Um, and then depending on Holden's hand size. They could potentially start getting that gain because they just have to be at four. So if they go to three cards in hand, they'll get that. So they're swinging 11 at the face or at the Pacifista, just clearing that up. Um, again, like if you can't deal with the threats or put up those big numbers of damage, so they're swinging regular with their leader. Okay, Yamato gain a lot. I was like, because if they're sitting there and they get the pop the pacifista so powerful um get that removal and now they cannot lose next turn and then they could potentially be in that range to heal doing a 1k from the soga king to combo out of that attack uh if they don't have a red rock if they could red rock and they can't even swing reliably on the mihawk to remove just because of that boa which makes it very rough for croc here and this is when, yeah, so they're just going to do, like, one, especially, like, one card attacks just don't give you value. Because they're just going to dump their hand and you really want to add cards to queen. Um, but sorry, they can't start healing. So we're going to go here, see what the heart of the cards has in store for us, and set our fate with the uh, Doflamingo or bottom deck it, since that is also an option. Going to go ahead and bottom deck because those cards are not going to give the value or get us out of this situation again just kind of going wide here putting it out that body but no three boom three blockers but they can also swing which is great uh i'm not sure have we seen it dragon twister is the only event yeah and it looks like holden was just checking for events there uh because it does matter if they had a if they had that all sunday and had a gum gum red rock they could red rock the mihawk potentially take whatever hit um and use the all sunday and get it back and then answer the yamato because they have to have the big drop to be able to gain um so if you can find answers to those which is part of the reason why i love ace because ace can reasonably answer multiple threats 
Uh, so they have to have multiple big drops back to back to back to be able to continue to generate that value if they're able to at all. Uh, especially with uh, because of cards like Flame Emperor. So um, nine poke. Uh, gonna start seeing. Gonna use the blocker. Get back the Dragon Twister. Hope to use that. The probably combo out. Um, I'm assuming uh, you also did not see. Oh, uh, hit him with that 3,000 worlds. Was it a double 3,000 worlds? Looks like it. Out of the, out, out, off the top rope. Um, again, putting him back to two so he can't generate enough damage uh, to potentially go lethal. Because the great thing about Queen is if they haven't stacked their deck for like a veggie or a blocker, there's the potential you just don't hit one of those. And you can bring it home because they do only have two in hand. So you could go like seven, nine, eleven, reasonably depending. And just try to push for that um, final bit that you need. So uh, if they swing with the Doflamingo. Yeah, it looks like it was just actually one 3,000 worlds. No, it was two because they also had the Pacifista. All right, still plenty of time. But it is looking very good for the queen player. 3,000 worlds, or a, a red rock would be big. Red rock would be big. Because then they only have two swingers. Otherwise, the queen player could go 9, 9, or 9... Uh, and then 11,000 and then 13,000 and just guarantee it. Um, we do know, we do have the, we do have the Dragon Twister. So paying six, Red Rocking like Yamato, Dragon Twister uh, with a 1K you would save us from the Mihawk and then we still have the Blocker. Um, but again, Queen is right there at that threshold. So even if they take that last life, <laughs> They have four in hand. They go to five. They play a big drop or a blocker. They swing lead. They go right back up. Yeah, see, they're swinging with the Doflamingo. It just makes sense because you need that. Uh, and then taking that. If they had Rush Usopp, that would be absolutely crazy and just go for that last push. Uh, dropping down the Pacifista blocker. One up for the Dragon Twister. If they have Yamato, though, that might be all that they've wrote because Yamato plus... The leader will give them plus one. So they're going to poke nine. Let's see what happens. I think you just counter out of this. I think it just makes sense because there's only two attacks that come at you for lethal. Um, you could also have blocked assuming that they have another Mihawk and are going to bottom deck that. Um, and it might have just been value to block. So we're going to go another nine. Definitely just block that. And then we can just eat the last one. Perfect play. Dropping the Dofi blocker. That's big. And then they're going to swing with lead for however much and generate another life. Uh, and they get to decide what that life is going to be. And so if it's Beji, it's over. Um, but if it's not, assuming it's a blocker, assuming it's a blocker, there's no way it isn't. But if it isn't, it could be very good for Croc. Oh, they swung on the character, which just, just makes sense. Because uh, then they only have one card to swing with. Uh, it's looking to be over here. 3,000 worlds, sure. Um, but you just don't have the gas it takes to get there. To get the damage. Uh, and I don't see a world with... What do you have? Four, three maybe, maybe, yeah, like three, very few, playing Akaya, let's see what we can get, get rid of, oh, double Mihawk, so that hand was a, not bringing a ton of value, the worst part is you can't like Mihawk a Mihawk, and like none of the cards that are decent in Queen are Mihawkable, um, and then yeah, seven, Play three, got the blocker. Once again, setting your own heart of the cards, determining your own future, uh, leaving them back there, but this might be it. Because two attacks need to connect. 
uh, however many cards that they have in hand. Let's add Kaya back. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Taking that last life, and then there it is. There it is. Great game all around. Huge congrats to Holden. Shout out Eggman for hosting the stream but yeah queen just really runs away once those bodies are established i mean it's so hard to swing on them it's so hard to get rid of their value didn't see the red rock unfortunately for the croc player but amazing 